All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today we're going to be looking at a device from Doogee. Now, this is their S96GT, and this is, a, this is a very nice device. It is unlocked. All their devices are unlocked. So you've got some pretty nice things going on here. Everyone's stepping their game up, so everybody has to compete. And this is no exception with Doogee. So let me read off some of these specs to you before I tear up into this box. I'll be fast, watch. So it's got the MediaTek Helio G95, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, a quad camera setup with a 48 megapixel main shooter, 20 megapixels as well, eight and two ultra wide telephoto macro, you get it. Uh, and then you have a uh, front camera at 32 megapixels, it's gonna be really nice. You've got night vision with the 20 megapixel camera. That's pretty cool. You've got recording in 4K UHD, obviously. You've got a, they're calling it the water drop display. So this is a smaller device with a 6.2 inch display looks like. And you have IP68 and IP69 with a military standard drop tested at 810H. So that's really nice. GPS, obviously, fingerprint reader on the side. You've got a custom button you can do. 6,350 milliamp hour battery. But the kicker, it is running Android 12. It has NFC, it gets Google Pay. It is unlocked to the world. It has 24 watt fast charging and 15 watt wireless charging. Huh. I said that in a breath. Let's get into this box. Now with these devices, you typically get cases in the box and everything, but this is a rugged style device uh, and it is definitely packing a lot. It's got wireless charging too. That's gonna be pretty crazy. This should be Sunrise Gold. And let's go ahead and just take a look at this real quick. They have to put those labels on there. Here is the device as we marble edit. This is eclectic folks. I'm feeling this. It's Sunrise Gold is it's more like a, um, uh, almost a really faint rose gold. Ducci is stepping up their game, folks. This is a very nice, rugged style device. Come on, son. You got to give it up. You got to give props where it's due. If you're a person who wants to have something that's going to make it through a storm and you're going to be uh, you're in an area where it's, it's a rough environment, this is a one for you. So here is uh looks like power, volume, and everything's metal on here, too. Everything's metal. This is crazy. Everything is metal on here, so that's really cool. You got your fingerprint reader right here. That's actually pretty cool. You got your power button. I like that it's separate from the from the power button too. That's pretty cool. You got some little branding here that says dust proof. Obviously it is. Uh, because this is IP68 and IP69, as they so eloquently put it right there on the back. You've got everything, everything's rated right here. They show you this is crazy. Look at this. They have everything right here in the little part right on the back of the phone that's made right into the phone that's crazy some branding right here we'll test wireless charging too because i think this is the first phone that i've gotten from doogee that actually has wireless charging that's that's pretty cool along this side of the device here you've got a a rugged or texturized button there and on this side it says waterproof on this side it says dust proof and waterproof pretty cool and you got your uh, sim slot and uh, SD card slot in there which is pretty cool most places don't even offer that anymore and to let you know it is a dual sim and then you can see your water seal tight seal right there dual sim and SD card slot why can't the US do stuff like this still pretty sad seals are pretty nice so here's the quad camera setup right here you can see that there's a little spot here to let you know that it's wireless charging. That's, that's just, this is pretty sick, man. I mean, it's a rugged style phone with a 6.2 inch display, so the body is bigger, uh, but it is what it is. Comes with a built-in screen protector. <laughs> so that's the cleanest that screen will be in for, for the rest of the time. All right, so let's see if it's got some juice. And uh, the screen protector, it's got a strong vibration. Power by oh, I like the let's let's look at let's look at the startup real quick and see what the startup does. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on, boom, boom. Six thousand three hundred and fifty milliamp hour battery in here, folks. On the bottom here, oh, I, I love. I, I knew it was gonna be a nice startup. I love the startup. A lot of times when I get these phones, they're already into the operating system. Like I don't have to go next and set up uh, Google, but good thing I do on here. Okay, so let's hit that power button. Now on the bottom here, you can see the charging port and headphone jack. What in the world? This phone has a headphone jack. Look at this. 
type C and headphone jack. Come on, US market. Come on. This is just not right. There's no reason that this phone has wireless charging, headphone, type C. Uh, oh boy. Oh, look at the little box. Okay, look at the little look at the little box right here. It all comes out together. That's pretty and on the bottom you can see exactly what everything is. Alright, so it actually goes like this. Right here. And you get a you get an additional screen protector. Look at this. They are ready for it. You get all the instructions here. You got your limited warranty paperwork. You got your manual. Let me read this real quick, matrix style. Ugh. I just loaded up. I know everything about this phone. Uh, so you got your what the frick is this? Oh, this is to um, this is like a little pry tool here. This is pretty crazy. And you got some doogee branding right there. I'm assuming that they have this here for this right here to pry out your SIM card. Oh, what a nice gesture! And also to pry out this portion here. Oh, what a nice gesture! And you know, as I look at this. It actually has a spot for a lanyard back here too. That's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna get you set up. We're gonna get you set up. That's that fingerprint. Lots of vibration there too. All right, so what else is in here? Oh, and look, here's the lanyard. Go figure, I didn't even see that down there. So you got your lanyard and you got your type C. And then here's the 24 watt uh, fast charger. So. Uh, it's important to note if you want to get the fastest charge on some things you need to use the default items uh, and that's just you know the, what's recommended personally I use my own fast chargers and that's just how it goes so as I package all this up and get it out of the way uh, I am now going to go through here I'm gonna go ahead and skip these right here it does it's probably gonna just get 4g or whatever uh, on here but let me go ahead and um, a little bit more light in here and I'm gonna sign into my Wi-Fi all right there we go I, I think I hit that button right there that personalized key and it might be uh, set to back key right now so we'll definitely have to change that if that's what it's set to but look at this beautiful design folks I, I just I'm feeling it I it's just I like different stuff and uh, this is for sure a rugged device you don't need a case for this phone, man. If you put a case on this phone, I'm gonna slap somebody. Put, don't put no case on this phone. You don't need no case. I wanna take you through this because I want you to see what it's like on the first boot up. Sometimes, uh, or the first initial setting. Okay, here we go. All right, because I wanna get into the OS. If I can get in there quick enough, I'll cut it if I can, but I like to. I want you to see what it's like when you start it up and, and this is what it is for you. So gonna go ahead and uh, skip this for now. I'll sign in later. Cause I wanna get in here. I wanna, I wanna, I really wanna get in here and, and uh, get going here. I don't wanna send any diagnostics. All right. I just wanna get in, in and out. I will set a password. No, I'm not gonna set a password. Let's skip it for now. So we can just get in. All right. All right, so we're in. We are in there, folks. So this is what it's, look at the wallpaper though, son. Look at the, this is freaking crazy. It's not Tuesday, uh, by the way. It is uh, Monday, October 3rd, but there's no SIM card in there and I didn't do that. So let's long press. I like to see if I can adjust the home screen settings and give it a five by whatever and five, by five son I, I love the five by five which means I should be able to put something down here on the bottom if I can yep yes all right now that won't be there so this will go up here and then my Bible app will go down there in the center uh, but I'm just moving this around just kind of checking you know what I mean like this is how I roll you uh, you know what I'm saying no that sounds like pristine tech right there that's my man pristine tech that's how he sounds he'd be like you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'm just clowning for steam, man. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Uh, how do I get rid of this? Can you get rid of it some kind of way? I'll figure it out in a second. Now, look at the back button and the home buttons and everything down here. Check that out. That's pretty eclectic. Uh, really, really nice. How they doing this? But we're going to go ahead and swipe up here. We can't swipe up because everything's on here. So that means I have to go and set up the app tray on here. So just getting into the device here. This is the default apps right here. So you got an FM radio. I don't see any bloatware yet. Uh, this children's thing right here. This is definitely bloatware. 
children's space let's force stop that and it looks like you can't disable that uh that's a bummer bump bump but it's the animations on the setting there that was pretty pretty clean I've seen that before is this an outdoor mode right here outdoor toolbox okay so there's a lot of these are some things that i might consider bloatware because i probably won't use some of these things like this children's space and all that but let's get into settings here and we're gonna go down to about you got android auto okay okay all right so that's that's fire okay sim cards there mobile network uh, more network connections this is where you might want to see your nfc might be and here's nfc right there son i told you i told you chromebook link to this is pretty much got everything that you possibly know first i need to get some dark mode going on i'm sorry i gotta get some dark mode going on uh it is where is it at where nope oh, that's do not start. well we can go ahead and do not start we'll do that but dark mode is what i was looking for screen record is up there dark theme all right all right here we go now we're looking good now we're in the house now we're looking good all right so here we go we got our, our dark theme set up settings is looking pretty good let's get into display real quick and i was getting to that next go figure john go figure so you got your home screen settings let's go ahead and put this to 10 minutes so it doesn't keep timing out for us uh charging animation i love the chart oh look, okay so this is the default you got classic oh that's pretty sweet right there broken screen that's crazy i wouldn't want that that'd, that'd be a nice trick for somebody though and this is kind of a prank because you probably can't break this screen it would probably take a lot to, to destroy this phone uh but this is pretty nice this is their newer uh one right here and uh let's roll with this classic joint right here i like that home screen settings this is where i was before by long pressing you know what i mean you've got desktop mode oh this is where i need to be okay so right now homes this is now you swipe okay 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 i see you so that's that uh home screen setting it there you got your idle hair you got your leds you got blink breathe all right let's breathe is it gonna do okay we'll, we'll 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 get to that in a little bit i got it on breathe though display size is where you can just change everything uh you got your screen saver use screen saver current screen saver clock is always the one i like um when it's because it can dock obviously and then charging or you can do it with both i always set it to both pretty clean so far folks um I'm, I'm i'm feeling it i'm feeling it let's go to vivid though Let's go to Vivid. See if you can see it. Yeah, you can see a difference in Vivid. Well, actually, like standard on this one. Yeah, standard. Vivid is too punchy for this display for some reason. You can see the little switch there. He said it gets a little too bright with Vivid. All right, so we'll keep it a standard. Uh, and then screen. Uh, okay, so that's good. So display is set. Navigation bar. Now we got to get into high navigation bar. We got to get rid of this. Uh, oh, no. Gestures is where I need to be. This is where I need to be right here. Got to get my gestures going on. I don't need a tutorial on that. Your sound, your apps, it's all good. Notifications and didn't try to do that. Didn't don't do that. Let's get back in here. So let's see here. Accidental, accidentally did that. The, the home screen is moving. All right, so we got a few more things down here. That I want to get to that intelligent key. You got your privacy, your security, your apps, notifications, uh, that easy key. Here it is right here. So right now, a long press takes it to Zello. We don't want to use that because we don't, we don't, we don't want to do that. We don't want, we don't want no Zello thing. That's their app that they have. That's an app that's used in their, in their country with a default country, I would assume. So you've got, um, start recording. Uh, these are some things you can do, or you can open applications, so open SOS, open underwater camera. That's pretty dope because you do have an underwater camera. Let's set that first one to a single click. You know what? Let's that better. We better set that to a double click. We'll go down and put YouTube for a um, single click. You could have, actually, you know, let's have none. Let's have none because a single click is too easy to do. And we'll go double double click for uh, the underwater camera. Okay, so that's what we'll do right there. That that right there. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Then you got Smart Touch. This is obviously dealing with your gestures. If you turn on Smart Touch, you see you get this little icon right here. I keep that off because I always accidentally touch stuff like that, but yeah. 
All right, you can double double click the home and everything. This is like a just a, a, a thing to help navigate your device. Some people might have little hands, and you know what I'm saying? That's 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 where they're at. No 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 offense to the little hand crew. So the battery, uh, I don't like that the battery is inside it. Um, let me see if there's a way to get it on the outside. Nope. It's, it's inside the battery bar. I'm not really a fan of that, but it is what it is. You got your system. Let's go to, uh, I wanna go to about. Gestures are kind of wonky. I'm trying to hit the bag, but okay. So Android 12, uh, 256 gigs of storage. There's the model and everything. Let's see if there's a system update. Pause. All right, come on. It might be an update in here. Who knows? We're gonna find out though. Checking for updates, checking for updates. I said I'm checking for updates. Software is up to date. All right, so software is up to date. So you've got, I like that the IP address or the IMEI and all that stuff is hidden because sometimes I get in here and it's it's not hidden and I gotta start covering up the stuff all over again. Blah, 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 blah. So you got a build number. I don't wanna be a developer yet. No, I'm not feeling that. All right, so that's that's pretty much I want to go. You got your, your this Dura speed right here is normally on other phones. I I turn it on, you know what I mean? Like it's not on anything in the U.S. I haven't seen that Dura speed on any of the U.S. phones in quite some time. You got your Google stuff and your well-being. So that's the settings. And as far as the bloatware on the device, pretty much like that children's thing and some things like that that I can't remove. Um, you know, other than that, I guess. I guess that's it. Let's take a look at some of the wallpapers. Oh, they got different themes on here. Too. Okay, so that is the theme for this device, but look at these different themes here. You can pretty much go like a standard Google joint. Okay, and my little John voice. Um, so we go here, you can go to this joint here. Got the, I like the round joint. Obviously I like the round icon, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and kick it there, but I'll show you this last theme here. Oh. Snap, there isn't this last thing. There's there's a ton of them on here. So, um, yeah, there's a few of them on here. They got some different ones. I'm going to change it back, though. We'll get one for the ladies, and then, you know what I'm saying, we'll, we'll rock out like this. All right, ladies, you got your pink. You're good to go. Now, let's go back and go to the one I like right here. All right, now, inside of these settings here, you got effects, where you can do the classic, you can do the stack, you can do the page, zoom in, out of box, windmill. I, I've never liked that windmill one, man. I, I don't like the windmill joint. I've never, never liked that windmill. Now let's go with um, wallpapers. You can see the different wallpapers you can put in here. Look at this joint. Let's just, let's just do it. Elo, look at that, man, that's crazy. This one right here, this black and red one, Ooh, feeling that, feeling that, that's dope, that's dope, let's see, anything else in here, no, widgets, we'll check the widgets, you can do settings, shortcuts, all these different things here, once I load up my stuff on here, there's not a lot of widgets in here right now, but once I load up all my applications and stuff like that, now, let's go ahead and get into the camera, and I'm going to adjust this later on when I start to use a little bit more, uh, nope, you don't need my location, and uh, so you got your two times you dip in all right so you got your wide angle this is the wide angle shot right here you saw me hit the little thing down there that's how you do their wide like that it's pretty crazy so i'm gonna go ahead and move some stuff out of the way here i'm gonna take some pictures let's get my homeboy right here my sound piece joint and let's just take a regular photo actually it's gonna be let me, let me step off for a second because it's gonna it's too bright in this area. I want to see what the real footage looks like. Oh yeah, folks. Here's what it looks like. Get up, dude. Get up. Get up. Got it. Here's what the camera. That's actually a pretty decent camera. I ain't even wipe it off or nothing. I'm gonna have to put, post that up for you. Uh, pretty good looking camera. So you've got. Uh, you, in order to select UHD, you have to do it like this. Um, let me see here. It kind of gives like a high quality version of it. As you can see there, I'm gonna step off again and do a different, same spot. 
that gives a nice portrait effect too look at that that gives a nice portrait effect uh, it's pretty decent man I mean this is a freaking camera that's um, technically can be used for underwater so you're not gonna get the best quality but it is decent get up sound piece get up and sit over there guys crazy uh, so <laughs> video quality it looks like the video quality is already set to 4k that's that's beast mode you got your, you can control your microphones and everything anti-flicker you can do custom you can do down to VGA I guess you would do VGA if you're I don't know I don't know why you would do VGA at this at this point in time so you got your custom function layout you can add different things basically you can add whatever you want to be able to have quick access to the camera but you do have a pro mode right there intelligent scanning panorama you got video blah, 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 blah. yeah you got more modes you swipe up like that shows you how to do it you can do it like that the more panel this is how you do it and the stuff that I just showed you it will be down in here I like that you can create gifs that's pretty sweet and you got your AI man so uh, camera sound oh I got do not disturb on let's turn off do not disturb nearby share is there as I notice some stuff yeah okay okay texture is fine let's go with this one right here literature and art it's funny how they got these these names on here <laughs> you can select the colors wow okay so you can pretty much <laughs> Kind of do kick it how you want to kick it, man. Okay, so this is a lot going on here. I'm feeling this. All right, so you've got HDR. You got auto HDR. HDR was off, by the way. You got your AI. You want to turn that on. You got your filters. You could do a whole bunch here. All right, so I'm going to show you these cameras. And we're going to bounce. This is pretty sweet. This is, this is pretty nice. Oh, let's set up the fingerprint reader real quick. Cause I didn't put a finger for on here, so it might it might um might go ahead and let me do it. Let's go to security. I want to test that finger reader for sure. Uh, bum, bum, ba, dum. Security right here, cause I did not go in here and I should have gone in here. All right. So you see you on this June security patch. <laughs> yeah, if you buying these, don't look for a lot of stuff like that. So bio and passwords, fingerprint. Let's go pin. Some just to get in here and then don't show show when unlocked. I agree. Let's see what this fingerprint reader do. Definitely got the Google like look. You know, I'm saying of the fingerprint reader. This is definitely the, the Google style. It's a stock Android device with a little bit of tweaks added on. That's pretty much what I can see here. All right, let's add this one right here to always when I have a fingerprint reader on the side like this, I always add one of these on here. As you never know, you might want to access a different finger or something. You might be licking your thumb, getting that good barbecue sauce off it or something like that. And you need to unlock it. Just kidding. All right, so let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and if you see in here, it has face. So we'll set up face. Uh-oh. It's crazy that some, some phones don't have face. Let's see if I can get it so you can kind of see it. Dang, that was quick. That is not safe, folks. Uh, <laughs> check this out. That's not safe. It might be. I, I don't know. That's way too fast for me. Anyway, uh, wow. Eh, we'll do a separate video for the cameras. First impressions. This is going to be... The next video I'll do, I'm probably just going to throw it in some water, throw it across the field, throw it on cement, really try to beat down hard on it, you know what I mean, and, and see what we can do with it. But I like to do a first impressions and um, see exactly how I'm going to use this thing. I really wanted to marvel at how beautiful it's looking right now because it probably won't look like this after a while. I'm about to try to destroy this in my next video. <laughs> It's your man Jay. We got some joy. 
And uh, shout out to Duji for sending advice over. I'm about to try to tear y'all's phone up. I know I should be able to destroy this easy. I can just cut through the screen protector real quick and be like, yeah. Oh, last thing I want to check before I get out of here. My bad. Wireless charging because it has wireless charging. Okay, let's let's try to put it this way. Get it right on the charger. It's charging, so I gotta do it like this. And have it this way. Boom! Okay. Boo do do. Okay. Alright, I see you, Doogie. I see you, Doogie. You're trying to do the doggone thing. I got you. Alright, okay. Alright guys, what do you think about this one? What do you think about this device? I'll see you in the next video. Take care. And I'll put a link down below. You know I will. Because someone's going to want this.